We are here at Oshkosh Air Venture, day number two, and we're looking at an airplane a lot of people have really been anticipating. This is the Lisa Akoya. Today we have the pleasure to speak with Vanessa Troyar. I think I did that fairly well. My French is kind of rusty, but and I'm Dan Johnson, and I have the pleasure to talk with us today about uh, this airplane. So uh, as we look at the bottom of the fuselage here, we don't see the usual shape that is common on seaplanes, which have a number of uh, uh, qualities to it, of sharp edges and so forth. This is very smooth. When you are in the water and you are just sitting in the water, how does that work out? Do you tend to tilt, or what prevents it from doing so? So we've got two sea foils uh, that make the stability on the water. But these, when these there? Yes, And exactly. you call this again? Sea foils. Sea foils, okay. Yes. That's a patented innovation from these airplanes, and okay. that's unique. Uh, when the engine is off, uh, with the weight of the pilot, you will go on one side. But we've got um, floating tips uh, at the end of the at the end of the wing, uh, so you'll be you'll be like that. And as soon as you put the engine on and you start to to get speed, the the airplane gets automatically straight, and then you go on the sea force, so the fuselage will be out of the water. Okay, so it actually is supported on the sea foils at one point during the takeoff yes. run. That's yeah. Now earlier you had the wings out. Can we move the wings out so we can see that part? Sure, I just have to ask my colleague. Okay, let's ask a colleague if we can get some help on that. Okay. But the idea is electric eventually, yes? Yes, okay. we both actually. Oh, okay, either way. All right, we're, ne we're now going to get in a demonstration of how the wings fold out. And th in this case, it's going to come out manually, but it is possible to do this, the uh, electric as well. And as the wing comes all the way out now, we begin to see that the, uh, there's a shape to the bottom of it so that if Vanessa is the only one in the aircraft and it's tilted to the left side, that will be down in the water. And as you apply power to the engine, I assume, uh, that moves through the water and begins to lift the wing a little bit out of the water, skim the surface for a while. And then the, as the aircraft continues to accelerate, what stabilizes it? Is it the skis that we see down below the wheel now? No, no, because when you are in the water, the gear is up. Of course. So it's only the sea foils that stabilizes. Just the sea foils yes. is what stabilizes yeah. it as soon as we start. So, because you have a ski down underneath it now with the wheels down, is that meant for continuous operation that way? Is it always that way, or is that just for landing in snow or something like that? You can keep the skis uh, on the on the gear all the time uh, because the the skis is uh, um, a little higher. Gear. Yeah, yeah, higher than the wheel. So you can either land on land or on snee in this configuration. That looks like maybe the wheels are uh, five or six centimeters lower than the ski. Yes, exactly. Correct? Okay. Or in American, that would be about four or five inches. <laughs> okay, very good. So inside this aircraft here, we have a quite a handsome looking interior to it. You have full dual controls for everyone. And we'll look over your shoulder here a little bit. Show us around the cockpit a little bit, Vanessa, if you would, please. Okay, so we've got a really um, intuitive cockpit to make it simple and easier to understand. We've got um, a glass cockpit over here, which is a Dynon sky view. You're using the Dynon, okay. Yeah, so you've got all the information you need for flight and on, from on the engine. Control, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. So, yeah, you've got a stick here, the trim is here. Okay. You've got a... Um, uh, throttle to put the power over here. Okay. Um, I see your fuel uh, selector yes, valve right down there exactly. in the middle uh, in a nice place that's uh, not easily bumped then by the hand, so that's good. Uh, and you've got all the safety feature over here. Okay. So the, um, the parachute, I yeah, see. The parachute, yes, okay. Yeah. And, uh, and is this just a, a gripping point or does this do something? What does this do? This is uh, for emergency uh, landing gear. Well, it, it, the landing gear comes out electrically and in case of a problem you can put the gear down with this. Uh, this um, yeah. Okay, and how about on the other side? And the other side is the canopy release. Uh, okay, now that, would that make it go away completely? Yeah. Okay, so if you're in the water and the worst thing happens and you somehow get upside down, then you would use that exactly. and get rid of the canopy and then just yeah. escape it easily. But uh, it's really unlikely that you will flip over. Uh, we made a l many tests with a one sun mock-up. Uh, that is... Um, dry, with a remote dry. control? Yeah, yes, with a okay. remote control. And we tried to flip it over, like landing straight, <laughs> and we didn't manage to flip it is over. Right? So it's really unlikely it would happen. So really the hydrofoils, um, 
as soon as they touch the water, they, they, they stabilize the, the airplane. Even if you, you touch only one sea foil, it will uh, automatically, automatically put the airplane on two points. Excellent. So, what is the construction material used in the airplane? It's a very smooth finish to it. Yes, it's all carbon fiber and it's pre pre carbon. So, it's, I mean, the, the best does carbon that you can the get. Does as well? Yes, okay. everything. The whole airplane? The whole airplane, okay. exactly. Then, the metallic parts are either in aluminum or titanium. Okay. So, Excellent. to make it very strong and light. When we had the wing folded back, there was some very handsome hardware here, but when the wing is folded or when it is out, the control mechanisms still appear to work. Is that correct? Yeah, we, we've got no disconnection of the, of the controls. Uh, when, the, when the wing in, it is closed, the flaps are locked. But as I see, okay. But the, there's no disconnection of the controls. So you don't have no. to do anything. So no. if you had the electric option and you're in the water and you want to go up onto a, a trailer behind a vehicle, you don't have to do anything. You just you just push a button and the wings go back exactly. and you, you move you forward. You can put the gear out in the water. Uh, the, um, it is it is made yet to go on the water and in salty water as well. Go up on the on the trailer yeah. and then and shut the engine down and then pull the wings back. Yeah. Excellent. You're right. So Vanessa, tell me about the power plant on the engine. Which engine are you selecting up here in this very handsome uh, cover that for you? So that's a Rotax 912. And so you can have either the classical 912 or the 912 IS as a standard. Okay, so they can have it either way. Yes. Uh, the IS is slightly heavier, so some people might want to choose the ULS engine. Exactly. Okay. And uh, that's great now, and that uh, will make the airplane perform quite well, as I've seen in your video. It looks like it's 100 horsepower. It's just fine for this. What is the gross weight of the airplane? Are you adhering to the LSA category? Yes, we will be in the, in the LSA category. So the max, maximum takeoff weight is 1,430 30 pounds, like for a seaplane. And um, so the... Um, the useful load is 550 pounds. 550 pounds yeah. useful load. But okay. with all the equipment, that means with the parachute, with the complete cockpit, ah, okay. glass cockpit, with the folding wings, um, electric canopy, uh, leather on the seats. So that's quite a good uh, useful Now I'm load. guessing that number does not include the electric for the wing fold? No, that will add 18 pounds. 18 pounds. Okay, well that's still not much. So you've done a very good job of keeping weight down. Yeah. And I like the way the canopy operates here. It looks like it would be quite delicate up there, but I see the structure here is quite substantial. And this is electrically powered up and down. Yes. Except yeah. if you pull that handle over there. Exactly. <laughs> Which we don't want to do. But if you have to, it's good you can. And so well, you can you can taxi with the canopy open. Oh, you can. Okay, yeah. wonderful. So it looks like a very comfortable airplane, and you say it has leather seats, and it looks quite, of course, you're quite sitting in it quite nicely, so that looks very comfortable. But how do you get airflow in the aircraft? So we've got ventilation over here, or heating, depending okay. on the season. And you've got also um, holes uh, right in the canopy here, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. to get fresh air. And so I, as you can taxi with the canopy open, you, 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 feel, you feel good. You, you and can you hot. put the canopy in any position? You yes, can put you it where can you stop, like it, maybe you just a little low or something? Yeah, you can stop it wherever you want. So usually when you taxi, you put it a little bit down and you keep it open like this. Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and the electric power handles all of that. Exactly. Okay, and uh, when you go fly in a seaplane, you often fly uh, near where you are and perhaps don't have to take anything with you. But if you do want to take uh, some some uh, clothing or so forth with you, where do you put that in the circle? Just behind me. We want to uh, right over your shoulder there with a little tab? So, it, this, ah, okay. this is when, when you are in flight to get access to, ah, okay. to some of your luggage, but when I'm not in it, I can open uh, here. Ah, the whole thing, I see, okay. Seat. And do the seats uh, lean forward yes. then so you can load that easily? Okay. Exactly, just like this. Ah, very nice, okay. So you said that the seat backs adjust uh, for, for for the comfort of the occupants, and but the seat bottom does not go back and forward, no. but the rudder pedals adjust. Yes, exactly. So that's how people of different heights can get in the airplane. Exactly. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit about where fuel is located in the airplane. Yeah. Where, where is the fuel held? It's not in the wing because it's a um, folding wing, so it's easier to put it. It's just behind just me here? under the luggage, luggage compartment. Down low down yeah. here? Okay. And how much capacity for fuel is there? As standard, it's 23 gallons. 23 gallons? Yes. Okay. And we've got so that should be uh, <laughs> well, three or four hours of operation easily then. 
yes, yeah, easily yeah. Uh, because we've got a really, uh, really good fuel efficiency of uh, 42 miles per gallon or three gallons per hour only. Excellent. Thanks because it's so sleek and smooth, exactly. I can easily understand we've how We've got that a glide works. ratio of 20. So. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. that's an interesting number to bring forward. Uh, glide ratio 20 is uh, beyond most of the other LSA we have on the market. Okay, so the big question on a lot of people's minds now, Vanessa, is when will it become a light sport aircraft? A spe you're going to make it a special fully factory manufactured? Yes. Will you offer a kit as well? No. Okay, so when will a fully manufactured airplane be available if I said, here's the check, here's the yeah. money, when? Okay, so this one is a flying prototype, but we're going to make an, uh, another one that will get the SLSA certification second semester 2013. Okay, so 2013 next year, yeah. middle of the year approximately. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to deliver our first aircraft in the US in March 2014. 2014 yeah, to the United March. States. Yeah. Okay. So this is interesting, uh, Vanessa said something, the airplane we're looking at, a lot of times when they're in a tent like this, they're just a mock-up and it's not a real airplane and you don't really know if it's exactly the same. This is the one that you're flying. You brought exactly. this from France yeah. after you've been doing flying in this particular airplane. So that's pretty it cool. It was flying just a month ago, just before being shipped over here. All right, great. So anyway, lovely airplane. We've uh, given a, not, a lot of nice information about it. Vanessa has done an excellent job here with us. We thank you for that. Thank you. But there's always more information people want, and you have some nice videos on your website. That's true. How do we find you on the web? It's lisa-airplanes.com. OK, and we'll put that up so the viewers can see that on the screen. I have not gotten a chance to fly this yet. I hope you'll let me fly it pretty soon. And yeah. then I can report about it. When I do, that'll be available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thank you for watching today here with Vanessa Troyar at Oshkosh Air Venture.